Yo, know, so it started. The road trip has started. Summer is here. Yo guys, we've just arrived after a brutal, brutal session driving in the rain. Uh, added about an hour and a half onto the journey, didn't it, mate? Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was it was brutal. So we've just parked up. You can see the van. Oh, where's my finger going? There. <laughs> and we've just noticed that there's a swimming pool down here. So we're just going to stretch our legs for a little bit, wait for it to get dark, and then we're doing an overnight in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take to it now. And if we, if we get caught, we can just go in the sea, can't we? Yeah. Morning swim in the sea. But let's. Uh, There's a play down there as well. Let's go see this pool. It's got to be the easiest pool to get in. It's got like a one foot high fence. <laughs> and one more thing. Look at all these people. Look. There's our van. Look at all these people in this in this field paying. Look at them all. They're all paying for exactly the same view that we've got. Never ends. Ten, ten o'clock and raining, and, and we're not about are we, mate? No, this is gonna so It's gonna get a wet body. Come on then. Get me a skimmer. Um, oh, that's a bit fat. We'll have a go. <laughs> nope, straight in. <laughs> Bloody hell, I thought that was going to come and rock me in the face. Mate, Dad's just got off the Instagram talking to Ali, so you're going to have to do some parkour. Let's show us what you got. Oh, is it hand parkour, is it? Yeah. Other hand, because it's my stronger hand. What's the big gap? Go on. Wee! <laughs> Let's do a barrel roll off the end. That's, pretty, that's probably about as deep as you, though, that. Dad's not doing it, so we have another broken back. Probably a big dump. Come on, seaweed. My leggings are getting a bit wet at the bottom. Yeah, we're all right. It's leggings, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I do it if I had my swimming clothes on. I'm swimming it. <laughs> no, you would. Well, we'll just come back in the morning. Aww. I'm glad I didn't dive in that at 1.4 foot deep. 1.4 foot deep. So what are you thinking mate? Um, I love it. First night of van life. We're a bit active because we ain't got all the clothes stored away and some other bits. You want to show them how your sweetie thing works? Yeah. Which one should I go for? What? Hey. So we've got Lily's sweet dispensers there, multiple sweets in. She just puts a cup under. Gives it a turn, gives her a little portion of sweets. <laughs> They will be lit up. I've got. They've just got all the lights come today. Actually, where are they? They're there. So I'm going to get them wired in tomorrow while I'm not busy, and then uh, for the optics as well. So they will all be LED'd up. It's going to be like a right disco van. <laughs> Tell you what, though, I think we've got some bad insulation because it is red hot in it. Insulation. I'm not that warm. I am, but the, the van's already condensated. I can see. Because it's supposed to keep you cool in summer, but warm in winter insulation, but it's morking. But we did get a great deal. Just, I'm starting to really love Facebook Marketplace. Um, 
last night we was last yesterday when I uploaded the van build video we were sleeping on these and then I seen these four brand new not out of the wrapper cushions for 20 quid on Facebook marketplace they are too short but we will be able to manage to get some um, lengths together yeah happy days happy happy first night in the van Lily's, Lily's snuck an overnight in the pool <laughs> Pool, but like fully. No, you couldn't anyway because it didn't morning. only come up in your knees. Really? You should have got back up to your feet quicker than that and kept running. Do it again. Smash it though. Go on. Smash it. Go on. Smash it. In fact, Dad will have to smash it and embarrass you then. Yeah? Alright, you come and get this here. Let the old man show you how it's done. Oh, fat, Hi. fat Dad. Hi. Make sure you get the full bowl in there. If not, I can't see. Huh? There, yeah. That is a monster. Get it, get it, get it. It's after you. Come here. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Come back. Come on. You do it. What? You do it. I'm filming. I'll film. That is a beast. Grab that little one. On the waves, then. Stop right then. It looks like a bit like a tail. It does. Come on, this way. Please. <laughs> <laughs> that man's on the phone as well. Go on, get, get out. That's it. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Bring it. Scrape it. Come on, I don't it, want to hurt it. No, it's it's dead. Is it? Yeah. So good morning viewers, we are currently just having uh, boiled eggs with toast. Yeah, so this is, this is the realistic side of van life that not many other people publish. Everything's all Instagram and glamorous, but no, still got to do the dishes. Yo, so we just rocked up, we just uh, left uh, Colwyn Bay, so now we've just come about an hour down to Anglesey. Um, we don't have to be as stealthy here, so we've got the portal up, so we don't have to do it indoors. Uh, not going to get any drone footage here though, because apparently this is where the Red Arrows do their training at this RAF base just behind us. The sea's just there, I don't know if you can hear it, over them dunes. And uh, yeah. Proper lazy man camping. Cut the awning out. Got the deck chairs out as well on the table. Lily's gonna cook us a stir fry in a bit. So all is good. In the life of Kev. It is day three and <laughs> We've had some major drama this morning. The wind picked up and flipped the awning right over the van. So it was on the opposite side. 
there's three brackets holding the awning on and it snapped two of the three brackets so yeah whatever these things are just sent to testers we'll uh we'll figure it out we'll get it sorted we've got duct tape and screws <laughs> but as for the awning i don't know if it's going to be used um fortunately enough it went over and it didn't smash the solar panel though so we're looking for that regards but day three started off as a bit of a rare one isn't it but we're here so that's the state of my awning this bracket is on bent bottom of the awning is broke the awnings coming out here. This bracket is totally snapped. And this one's come out of, out of the van. But that is not safe to drive with now. We can't take it off because it's too long for the van. So we're going to have to bodge it and butcher it. But I suppose that's life on the road. Improvise, adapt, and overcome, and all that shit. So we have been trying fishing. <laughs> no luck. Good job we've got burgers and macaroni and cheese for tea because we're catching nothing. It's not said out but the weather is grim here and it's really bad. <laughs> My mate is taking his tent down. I've got a funny feeling he's leaving because I've just seen him move his bed out in his pillar. I think Brendan is leaving us. What are you doing fella? Leo, what's Brendan doing? I don't know. He's off. He's had enough. He could have sat in the van. I cooked his tea. I said, come and sit in the van with us, but that, that tent definitely looks like it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, mate. Can't swing the next one, buddy. Yeah. Leo, go out there and help him. If he was any sort of friend, you would. <laughs> I've got to record him, so I can't do it. I can record. Another day. Another location. Another Egg and Soldier's breakfast. Yummy yum. Van's looking a bit rough. But we'll get it tidied up in a bit. And then we're off to Pembrokeshire, I think. What are we doing at Pembrokeshire? Shopping. Shopping. Cliff diving. Water park. Wasp. There's a wasp eating my eggs. Uh, and we want to watch the new Lion King, don't we? So we'll try and find that. So getting back into the reality of things, our plan was, you know, four weeks on tour, every night a new beautiful beach spot. But the reality is, third day in, we're already having to stay in a lay-by. It's not too bad though, it's fairly pretty. We have got some big lakes just here. And, uh, I just caught up here, we have got some uh, some nice mountainous views as well. So it's still pretty pretty, but it's it's still not the Instagram style <laughs> uh, back doors open and uh, yeah, you're at the beach. But I'll just flick you around. So yeah, look, this is where we parked up, just, just off a lay-by. Pretty enough light, don't get me wrong. I think this is just the back end of Snowdonia, this bit. Pretty enough, but it's still not them Instagram pictures that everyone only shares, but I suppose the other people don't share the ones that isn't beautiful, but I'm a realist. For me, you get what you get. That's what it is. I live in the real world here. But it was quiet. It's probably the most quiet night, third night. Most quiet night we've had. All good. So, we have decided to uh, YOLO it and uh, do the full hog. We did about four and a half hours and left Anglesey and now we're in Pembrokeshire. Uh, we was going to go to Blue Lagoon but it was pretty full so we might head over tomorrow. Um, we found a nice spot on the coast but it's not very pretty to look at at the minute. But when a few cars and that leave we're going we're gonna to readjust. But for now, after a, a gruelling slog in the car, or the van should I say, we're... Uh, going to have something to eat and we've got some of these footlongs south carolina footlongs 100 percent british pork but south carolina footlongs but we couldn't find no bread buns big enough so we're gonna have to double up on these bad boys with some brioche rolls <laughs> so now we've had some homemade ice creams we've got some cones and some chocolate sauce and stuff but the ice cream's melting a bit quick won't it 
might be a Neapolitan ice milkshake by the end of the day, but it is what it is. So, day five, we've left the spot where we was at, it's uh, Silver Bay. Uh, we've just come and found another car park, it's still early in the morning, yeah? Basically only had breakfast and, uh, you know, did the morning routine, clean the parks, clean the van out, etc, etc. We found another beach, well, it looks stunning, but I don't think we're going to be able to park here. And I don't think we're going to be able to swim or get the boat out, which is the plan for today, is get the boat out. I'll show you why in a sec. Yeah, we're not getting the boat in here. Big tides, have to have lifeguards and stuff. There's a big spray in the background. Yeah, we're not parking here. Nice spot, mind. We also place to camp, but not place to camp and van and when we want a boat. So we'll head around the coast, see what we can find. where we are guys we're at the infamous blue lagoon we've got the boat out we're going to paddle around to the uh the jumping site and we're going to do some cliff jumping isn't we, yeah there's the boat get the gopro on the head and let's have it It's a bit calmer down there. Chicken. Man overboard! <laughs> you can get out of here, mate. Send it, no, from here, chicken. Send it from here. I'm just scared this is gonna, like, I'm gonna jump in. This is gonna... Take it off then. <laughs> just shout if you start bobbing and I'll go up and get you. <laughs> okay. 
because if I'm dead I can shout. Go on, Anne. Sit, go. Don't think about it, just send it. Go. Well done. Help! <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah! You think? What's wrong with you, you nutter? Just, that's it, just quit swimming up. That's it. Is it refreshing though? Yes. Whoa. This is such a sick place. Oh, that's terrifying. What? That is scary. Telling me, I'm crap in my pants. I might have a go from the lower level. Do you want to film it from up here? Yeah. Just film me here, yeah? Don't die. Make sure you hold it that way. Just keep an eye on this bag, Lil.
from the top, boys. <laughs> Best moon for you is took a load of water in that boat and laying there. <laughs> hey, no, honestly, me. no, because it will warm up, won't it? Them kids was already sitting in them puddles because the water was really warm. I don't mind the cold. It's just I don't like being in the sea alone. Yeah, but I'm, I'm one jump away from you. I'm like ten seconds. Look at all these kids in here and that, and all these people jumping. Yeah, but it's not like anyone's been dragged under by a big, great big jaws or out, is it? <laughs> That's it, that film that film's made so many people scared to go in the water, it's unbelievable. Oh, a little lad sent it. I can't believe how deep it is, I didn't even touch the bottom, even when I was up that second ledge. Really? I didn't even touch the bottom, no. And it, what's that? It's only about 10 foot higher. I can do that. Look at that, we're going left, left. Uh, let's get out of this channel. Watch so we don't bump into people with okay, chicken. Oh, just go right, right, right. I mean left. There's a right big swell there. That's it. Right, right, right. That's it, get our nose into the waves, that's it. Excellent. All right, let me just control it so I get it straight. I know, darling, but there's a, there's a swirly bit right at the rock. And if you get caught in them, they're bloody hard to uh, get out of. Right, quick, because we're sideways on. <laughs> left, left. Right, now I just can do it for a minute. Okay. We'll ride the waves, won't we? Jump out, as quick as you can. Don't go sideways. Is it? I'm out. Oh my god, I've never felt shallow. That was a crazy ride. That last week was awesome. You can understand why people like surfing now, can't you? And Gareth, my boy, um, obviously you've just seen us. Uh, you've just seen us, me and Lily surfing that in the boat. But this, we can't lift this now. 
this whole thing, Gareth, is full of water. It's like a paddling pool, mate. I would never use that on white water in my life. You're going to get bogged down. Look at it. It's like a paddling pool. I suppose I have had uh, dinner in worse places. Looks like a good few old buildings down at the Blue Lagoon. Got some up on the hill. Tiny little stone circle building up top too. And right on the other side, it looks like a great big lookout point. Maybe military or something. But we'll take you there now. What we're actually doing is just going to go get the uh, GoPro, get up on the hill. Because we've lost the sun now. And we, living on the east coast, I've never ever seen the sun go down behind the sea, so we see it come up that way every time we're camping on the coast. But I've never seen it go down, so that's the plan. Just sitting here in the van, chilling in front of the relentless sun. And I must say, I've had uh, I've had worse views in my life, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, it's Scorchio today. We've only uh, got up about nine o'clock, I think, today. And we've uh, had breakfast, sorted all the van out, done all the chores. So we're gonna have a look to see if we can find these springs now at the river. You can hear some water rushing.
Is it that way? Could have sat down in that and had a shower this morning now. Mm -hmm. That's how cold it is. <laughs> Tell you what we could do though, we could come fill the water bottle up. Mm -hmm. the big one. That'd be fresh water as well, that. That's got a little hole in it where it's all gathering. Let's see if we can follow the trail. Where's the snake? We're headed down from Herefordshire now. We've uh, come to Southampton. We're actually here a day early because um, we went to Salisbury and we went through. We put outdoor swimming pools into Google and it took us to a frigging hot tub sail shop. So then we thought, stuff it, we'll just fly down to Southampton because we know there's a coast there. Uh, I'm not really sure this is a swimming beach though. I'll give you a pan around slow. But it's definitely a lot cooler here, that's the main thing. We've been in that van for about two and a half hours sweating. So bit of uh, Bit of rest time now. May not be the nicest beach, but when you've been in the van for three hours and it's been 35 degrees and you've been sweating, you just have to get in the water. You just gotta do it. It's too hot not to do it. Right, let's put my keys on this bit of seaweed. Raining now as well. Not that that's going to stop us. It's a bit sludgy and a bit seaweedy, mate. It's a bit, it's a bit squidgy underfoot. And a bit seaweedy. No, it's only like it's only up to my. Waste here. So warm. It's really warm. I'm trying to test it out. What? Look at that airplane. Just dive. That's it. Whoa. This is where we parked up for tonight then. It's about six o'clock. It is sweltering. Not gonna lie, I'm dripping buckets. Not the prettiest views, not bad like. There's someone giving it full beans on a jet ski. I wish I was. That'd be pretty sick. We've already had one uh, one wheelie boy crash tonight and smash on his bike up. He was major, major sad. He was nearly crying on the road. But let's see what we got here. Wheelie boys are going past that full men on us. It'd be a shame when one hits the van. I have to go out there. And, I have to go out there and kick his fucking ass. What do you reckon, Lil? It's fun to watch, isn't that? To one smash your van. Move out of the way. Over 
took that one doing a wheelie. He was in his back seat. Wheelie boys! Welcome back folks, just another check-in. Um, bit of a, a dull day for us today. We've been on the road exactly a week today. Um, but it was more a necess necessities day today. So we've been shopping. We have uh, cleaned the clothes, brought some new clothes. Went to the uh, went to the leisure centre for a swim and a shower. Um, did a bit of maintenance on the van. Restocked up on gas. Restocked up on water. So not much, but um, we had a couple of days to kill. We're uh, we're down in Southampton still, and uh, we're waiting for Ali Law. Ali Law has kindly invited us round to his house. He's having a massive slip and slide off his roof into a, I would imagine a pool. Um, if you don't follow Ali, you really should. I'll put a link down in the description. But he's been doing flips into his trampoline with uh, 20,000 uh, ball pit balls in there and such. Just just having a great time and he's kindly invited us. Um, but we, he was supposed to come to Wales with us, to the Blue Lagoon, but he got double booked. And then as we went to Southampton, he's gone to Wales. So now we're just waiting, uh, waiting for Ali. We don't like to stay in the same place too often. Um, but this will be worth it to be with someone I, I rate very highly as, as a person, uh, as a YouTuber and hopefully as a friend. But now, it's time, like I say, we've been doing necessities. Um, oh yeah, maintain the toilet as well, done all that sort of stuff. But now, Lily's re, re <laughs> stuck in <laughs> her sweeties. Here we go. So what we've got. Do you know what's going where or you just... Just... Chocolate covered peanuts, wine gums, hair drops, um... Like Skittles, but I don't think they have the colour, which is quite cool. And um, Jelly Babies. What are these? Oh, raspberry bonbons. Yeah. Um, strawberry bonbons, midget gems, and mints. Imperials. Okay, Imperials. I can't read the other side. And we've still got some Weather's Originals. Jelly beans, Fox's mints, chocolate raisins, uh, Mawams. Mawams. So yes, now, now, now it's time to stock the sweeters back up. And all over the place. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. They're all just white, yeah. Have the Let's have a look inside the pack. And what's this for? The gay pride thing, the rainbow. Yeah. All right. Hold on, skittles. They look well weird. I don't think you're gonna have much fun shape. It's about from. Is that it? Is that that packet empty? Yeah. Put them in the front there, I'm in the pool, we'll have them when we're driving. Okay. Lids on, and uh, let's take a picture for Insta. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've Yo, so what is up guys? What is it now? Saturday, day yeah. eight. Day eight. Um, it looks like we're really 
one of the only parts of the country that's not having uh, some really bad weather today. Um, I see loads of people up on statuses and stuff. They've got real bad rain and everything else, but down here in Southampton, it's all right. The odd spot, but it's still 20 odd degrees. Um, so we're gonna go find a wild swimming spot near Winchester. So don't wanna to be too far from Southampton because tomorrow we're supposed to be going to Alice. So just gonna dive off and cool off in the pool. It's like I say, it's just coming up for midday. We've already done all the usual stuff, cooking, breakfast, sorting the van out for the day and that's everything else, but we don't keep wanna filling the vlog up with that or filling the video up with that. So here we are, let's go uh, find some beautiful wild swimming spot. <laughs> Takes you fast that current, doesn't it? Go on now, send it! Send it now! So, just got back from the swim. Billy's got pasta and mini meatballs. I've got beef curry and Mexican rice. And I am in agony. So yeah, best about that little pool then, that little wild swim and I've tore my groin up, pulled it or something. And it's agony. I just had to drive about 12 miles back to uh, Southampton and even pressing the clutch was killing me. So, not looking forward to a night in the van with this pain. So, we were just on the motorway, weren't we? Seen a right bad crash. Some guy on a motorbike literally fighting for his life and being operated on in the middle of the road. And we thought, we need a, we need a carvery to contemplate, contemplate things. Look up, and as if by magic there was one there, wasn't there? Just about to put it into the phone. So, we're gonna tick in, tuck into this and uh, then I head on to Brighton. So then, we've seen Brighton Bridge and we skipped it. I don't know why on earth I ever thought that we'd be able to park up at Brighton. Guess where we are now? Yes. We're at the stunning White Cliffs and over. Just having a walk around, getting to the top. Even with this gammy groin injury I've picked up. Literally, I've just fell over on them. Yeah. Oh, what's that? A big piece of flint. Yeah. Oh, that is jetpack flint. Check that. Yeah, so we're just gonna have an explore around here. It says no parking overnight, 
but you know me, I don't really respect rules too much. I'm not hurting anyone. So how many of the pilots had to drink, see if he makes it in the gap. So we've got another nice spot picked, a little town called Dean. We was going to go to Dover, but they started. Well, we heard rumours that they were shutting this barrier, so we bombed down there. And we, I think, it looks like we was the last vehicle to get out before they shut the barrier. So we drove about ten miles and found this little place called Dean. And what were we? I don't know, thirty metres from the sea. Looks lush. We spotted this guy first. I thought he was a seal. But no, he's got a snorkel kit. He's got a scuba tank. Don't even know where the hell he came from. He just popped his head up. It's seven o'clock in the morning. And he's already on it. Well, you can't tell, but he's over there, he's swimming. Oh yeah, I see. So yeah, we've made it to Clacton. Uh, I don't think we're going to see Wild Ginger Bruce, because I think he's in Weymouth till Saturday. But we have yeah. met up with Ali, yeah. Finn, Disco Boy, oh. a few of Ali's mates. Lee's currently thrashing it around on her dirt bike. Giving it some beans, Lee's giving it some beans. Go on, Leo, go for it. What's happened? You've got to keep oh, yeah. chewing, you just can't stop chewing. How did he actually turn into a part of great cane food? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looked like when it was coming out. Oh, no, you, you have got 30 seconds left. Go on, mate, go for it. So we're using the cart timer. Go on, Leo. Go on, get it in there, mate. Oh, not, not bad, not bad effort. <laughs> 24 oh. seconds left. I reckon she's just making it smaller. Oh. <laughs> 15 seconds. Get it in there, Lil. I think Ali owes you a dog. <laughs> <laughs> get it in, just ram it in. Just ram it in. <laughs> that was one, a good effort. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> In pole position there. Oh. Now we go around again. I didn't capture that on video. Yo, Ali, you won't make a massive scene riding that horse right now. <laughs> I can. A massive scene. What, what does that mean? A massive just scream and shout and ride it like a bucking bronco. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can. 
I can do crazy stuff, I can't do embarrassing stuff, it's not me. Yeah, no. Yeah? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First Baptist head. First escape completed. <laughs> oh, it's funny to arrive, Belen. Oh man, it's all about the madness, baby. Don't say it on the neck for nothing. There we are. After an insane day, we just found a spot right at the side of the beach again. Lee's just having a cook out. What are you having, Lee? Ha, ha, ha. 